there's a smile on his face because he's gotten the chance to find his defining fight. And there must have been moments in his career, Max, when he worried that Calzaghe would never open the door. It's to Calzaghe's credit. He's always claimed that he wanted to fight the big fights. And uh, Frank Warren and economic circumstances were such that they eluded him. Now, over the last several fights, Jeff Lacey and now Kessler, he's proving that he will fight the big fights. It's called a unification fight. Kessler holds two of the four belts in the division. Galzaghi has held the belt that he has enforced as his own for more than 10 years, 20 title defenses. There is another belt in the division, but it's immaterial tonight. And now the winner of this fight is clearly the best in the world. world. And get Champion. ready for the roar. Joe Calzaghi! accepted and be more accredited in my mind I would like to see him be able to fight away from having such a strong partisan crowd and if he wins tonight there's almost no question he'll do it he and Bernard Hopkins have begun flirting and dancing verbally with each other over the course of the past several months and there are a lot of people who would love to see it perhaps even in Hopkins time, suggested venue of Yankee Blue Stadium national in New York anthems. let's go First, to Michael Buffer now in the ring for the national anthem of Denmark Now, ladies and gentlemen, the multi-award winning Bridge and Male Voice Choir to sing the National Anthem of Wales.
Uh, ladies and gentlemen from Millennium Stadium, Cardiff, Wales, Mr. Frank Warren for Sports Network is proud to present the main event of the evening, brought to you in association with frankwarren.tv and international entertainment along with Setana Sports and HBO sponsored by Nemiroff and The Sun. This is the contest we've all been waiting for. Undefeated champion versus undefeated champion. 12 three minute rounds for the universally recognized undisputed super middleweight championship of the world sanctioned by the british boxing board of control lord brooks and john reese qc stewards in charge the world boxing organization supervisor mr john duggan of the united states the world boxing association supervisor Signor Renzo Bagnarial. The World Boxing Council Supervisor, Monsieur Bob Louis of Belgium. At ringside, the three judges scoring this contest will be from Italy. Signore Massino Maravecchio. From the United States, Mr. Raul Caiz. From the United States, John Stewart. Inside the ring, referee in charge of the action, also from the United States, Mr. Michael Ortega. And now, for the tens of thousands in attendance in person, and the millions watching around the world. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get Fighting out of the red corner, wearing red with white, official weight, 168 pounds. He made his professional debut in 1998 and captured the WBA World Championship in 2004. He added the WBC title in 2006. His record is a perfect one, consisting of 39 bouts, 39 victories, including 29 knockouts, from Copenhagen, Denmark, the reigning, defending WBA, WBC, super middleweight world champion, the Viking warrior, Mikael Kessler. Fighting out of the blue corner, wearing black with white, official weight, 166 pounds, 7 ounces. He currently is the longest reigning champion in the world and one of only six men in boxing history with 20 successful world title defenses. In 43 bouts, he has 43 victories, including 32 knockouts. Presenting the fighting pride of Newbridge, Wales, the reigning, defending, Undefeated WBO Super Middleweight Champion of the World Joe Kazagi. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. I expect a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. Good luck to both of you. Touch them up and come out fighting at the bell. A little over a month ago, Kelly Pavlik knocked out Jermaine Taylor for the middleweight championship by having faith that boxing fundamentals